This is WJZ Breaking News. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. I'm Nicole Baker. Welcome to WJZ News at 5 and to all of you streaming us tonight. We begin with a story about shock, outrage, and sorrow. And those right there are just a few of the emotions tonight after a beloved church employee was killed inside her East Baltimore church. Meanwhile, the governor and the state, they have announced they are now offering a six-digit reward. You heard that right. For any information leading to an arrest. It is terrible that people have to be hurt and killed. For what? Well, WJZ stays on this story for you. We were the first to tell you about it yesterday. That's right. Avid Joy Burnett live at that church on North Chester Street with the very latest on this investigation that everyone is talking about tonight. Avid Joy. Rick and Nicole, we moved over here to Baltimore City Police Headquarters for the latest from that angle. Officials have not made any announcements about an arrest or a suspect, but back to Governor Larry Hogan. He announced a $100,000 reward in this case for any information that leads to an arrest and conviction, and he's calling on the city to match that figure. There is outrage in Baltimore after a criminal passed a sacred line and killed someone inside a church. They'll go as far as this right here, taking a life in the house of God. The victim was 69-year-old Evelyn Player. She was a mother and grandmother and also a dedicated member of her church who showed up early Tuesday morning so that she could open up the doors for contractors. But about an hour later, someone found her inside a bathroom, stabbed to death. Pastor Dante Hickman said she served her church to the very end. On that particular day, she got here earlier than she would normally come before the male sextons got here, uh, perhaps to pray and um, to have her life taken from her like that in the church and in the community that we love is, is really heartbreaking. Pastor Hickman says Player's family has been in Southern Baptist Church for four generations. Her daughter shared a final text her mom sent to her on Facebook right around the same time she got to the church. It said, Good morning. I'm here. Have a great day. Love you. There is also a heart emoji. Her daughter responded, love you too. WJZ was outside the church Wednesday as a detective walked along the building's perimeter on North Chester Street. Player is a 298th homicide victim of the year. We are going to find who killed this woman. We are going to go out and make sure that we hold that person accountable. As police investigate, residents are just fed up with the city's crime. We had a priest last week pistol whip and then this week we have a beautiful child of God being killed in God's house. Now, in addition to that $100,000 reward, uh, the governor is calling on other state agencies to step in and help wherever possible, stepping up visibility and also assisting with the investigation. We must also let you know that there will be a prayer rally outside the church tomorrow at 6 p.m. in honor of Miss Evelyn. Live tonight at Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.